Uh, it's Sunday. It it actually finally rained, so we're cooled off by about maybe five ten degrees, but it's still so hot in our apartment. It just won't go away. And uh, we ran out of food, like overnight food, so we actually have to cook. So today or tonight, uh, like 9:30, we are cooking pork chops. Late night dinner. Yep, pork chops with Worcestershire sauce, aka W sauce, um, Italian seasoning or Italian salt, um, garlic salt, well, Italian seasoning, garlic salt, and some pepper. So that should be yummy. And we're going to show you guys how to make it. See, I never done this before. I usually just cook Asian, in, which basically just means um, MSG, salt, and MSG. Uh, sometimes soy sauce, but ew, mostly ew, MSG. Ew, ew, ew. So according to her, it tastes all bland. So we have to try something new like Worcestershire and actual seasoning stuff like pepper and onions. See, from where I'm from, those are two dishes right there. He uh, let, let's just mention the fact that he puts chicken powdered chicken broth on everything. He's like it adds flavor. I'm like, but not everything needs powder chicken broth it's you know it just I don't know you don't need it for everything so guys tell him you don't need to put powder chicken broth on on everything you don't need to everything else you put on it will add flavor add guys seasoning. what add seasoning guys don't listen to her this stuff is awesome I grew up eating this stuff eating I hate vlog 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 you vlog eh. I grew up eating this stuff. It's freaking awesome. Look how I turned up. Look how awesome it is. You're so Asian. So step number one, you get out all your ingredients. We have Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, regular pepper, pe pepper, that sounds so French, um, oil, and Worcestershire. And we have our, our pan and we have the handy dandy raw meat. <laughs> I'm not kissing him tonight! No! <laughs> anyway, so first things first, get out your Chinese butcher knife and you debone it. For those of you who don't like bones, like me, I don't eat any meat that has bones in it. I'm just weird like that, okay? All right, so your second job, second step rather, um, after tenderizing the meat and deboning it, you add your seasoning. Now you can add however much seasoning you want. It doesn't matter, it depends on how flavorful you want it. Um, so we got about one, two, three, four, five, five seasonings. So he's adding the onion powder. Garlic powder. Regular black pepper. And Worcestershire. Then he's putting it in a takeout box. He's putting it in a takeout box so that he can just shake it up because um, it, it doesn't matter how you season it, if you want to put it in the frying pan first or if you want to put it in a container and shake it up first to get the seasoning all up in there. Either way works perfectly fine. If we had smell o vision I would just send the smell your way guys. It smells so good right now, I cannot wait to eat it. And we're gonna, along with our pork chops tonight, we're gonna have mashed potatoes all right so here's the all the raw meat and the wonderful seasoning from shaking it up in a takeout box and now we've got our frying pan over here we've got our frying pan over here ready the fire's on see and the oil is all nice hot and ready this is the show on the road man I'm hungry
Uh, smells so good. Can you guys smell it with me? If you know what all those ingredients smell like, then you'll know what I'm talking about. It's so good. Always, always, always make sure that the pork chops are cooked thoroughly. You know, eat steak, whether it's rare, medium rare, whatever. Um, pork. Just listen to me, guys. Pork. No pink. Cook all the way through. I don't know about you guys, but these pork chops are really good. I cannot wait to eat them. <laughs> You know, he chooses to use chopsticks over all, over the other, all the other utensils that I've given him, I've given him, that I've bought for us to use while cooking. How do you feel about that, dude? I love these chopsticks. All I need is a pair of sticks. It takes care of everything, even soup. Wow. Good for chopsticks. Dun, dun, dun. Dinner served, so we've got the pork chops, we've got the mashed potatoes, and we have gravy, which is from Heinz. It's the home style gravy, classic chicken. It's really good, really awesome. And that took all of about 30 minutes to cook, so it's really easy, really quick. Um, so if you guys try it, you gotta let us know. Leave a comment telling us if you tried it and how good it was. Um, I want to say thanks, Dad, for the recipe, because I remember when he made this before, so you're awesome.